Good morning from Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort at Universal Orlando. We're here to do a resort tour. You guys can hear there's a lot of construction noises going on because they are building a new hotel right next door, the Aventura. Hopefully we'll get to do a tour of that one when it opens, but today we're gonna be focusing on Lowe's Sapphire Falls. Here's something that I feel like I should point out is the Aventura Hotel is here. The main entrance that you drive in for both will be right here. The parking garage entrance for Aventura will be over here, but the parking garage entrance for Sapphire Falls is right there. And as we turn, we have a look at the Port Cochere, and then we head into the main lobby. And here we are, right inside the main lobby. It's a very nice looking main lobby. So off to the left over here is luggage services, and of course, the check-in desk. And as you guys know, we have been working with Universal Orlando, so we do have a room tour for you guys of one of the rooms here at Sapphire Falls. So after you check in, you would go straight up to your room. So we'll put the room tour in right now. Here's what the hallways around the guest rooms look like. Kind of like any other hotel. There's some, a guest laundry room here. Let's see if I can, oh, no. Some nice washers and dryers in there. Pretty nice. And then here's what the guest rooms look like. I like these light fixtures. Pretty neat. All right, here we are at Sapphire Falls, and this is just a standard room with two queen-size beds. And I like this. I like that there is an iHome here, so not only can you charge your iPhone, but you can also plug it in and listen to your tunes through the alarm clock. There's also a USB charger wall outlet here, so you don't actually have to bring your brick. You can just bring your USB cord and plug it right in, right there in the wall. I really like the feeling in this room. It feels very tropical and very relaxed. Oh, there's a little desk over here with a really fun lamp on it. And also, there's another USB charging plug here on the wall. So if you're doing some work, you need to plug your phone in, you just plug it right, in, right there into the wall. There's a Keurig machine. You guys know how intent on my coffee I am. Look at this view. What a view. Look at how beautiful that looks out there. You can see everybody getting on the water taxi to head over to the parks. It really does feel so tropical in here. I like it a lot. Let's check out what's in here. Oh, there's a, there's a refrigerator in there, which is very nice. We got some drawers in here. Very nice. A very nice TV too. This is an LG. It's kind of large. Let's see what the bathroom looks like. Okay. Oh man, I really like this mirror. How cool is that? Everything feels so clean and nice in here, but at the same time, relaxed and tropical. Here's something that I don't know if you guys would want to know about this, but there's no tub in here. This is just a shower. I don't know, I like it. I like that there's a seat in the shower though. You can sit down and enjoy after a long day in the parks. This is the type of shampoo and soap is in here. I don't know, have you guys ever heard of that brand before? One day we'll definitely have to come back here and stay so that we can experience it a little bit more in detail. Let's have a look in the closet here. Oh, I like that the closet's green. There's a safe in there. There's an iron and an ironing board. One of those, uh, I don't know what they're called. What do you guys call that? Like a luggage rack for opening up your luggage? A couple of extra pillows, maybe some blankets in there. And last, last but not least, right before you exit, a giant full-size mirror. Right next to the check-in is Concierge, and they also have an Avis car rental booth here. And if we continue to turn, there's this nice little sunken area that has a real giant TV where they're watching some sports show, it looks like, maybe something that has to do with racing, but a lot of seating area down here. It looks very comfortable as well. Right next to that is Strongwater Tavern. Strongwater Tavern serves more than 100 different types of rum. Inside, rum captains take guests on a tasting journey through the history and flavors of rums from around the world. This is neat. What do they use this for? Also at Strongwater Tavern. There's this fire pit area, which seems like it would be very nice to relax at at night. It looks cool. There's a view of the theme parks right over top of this balcony here. Also attached to Strongwater is an outdoor patio 
with lots of seating, but there is no covering. So the sun will be beating down on you, and if it's raining, you'll get very wet out here. But it also has a view of the theme parks and of the water taxi dock, which we'll be seeing a little bit later. Oh, look at that view of that waterfall. That looks really cool. Wow. It looks very nice from up here. Right next to Strongwater Tavern is this gigantic stone round wall, which actually holds a staircase that leads from the lobby down to the pool and ground levels. And they gave me some facts about this. They said that it took 69,807 stones to make this. That's a lot of stones. For sure. Before we head down there, there's still some more stuff here in the lobby area for us to check out. Next to the stairs is the Universal Orlando Vacation Planning Center where you can plan your vacation, pick up theme park tickets, or even buy theme park tickets. And right across from there is the Universal Store. So you can come in here and get a wide variety of souvenirs that maybe you didn't get when you were in the park. Lots and lots of Jurassic Park stuff. Or Jurassic World stuff? Jurassic World. Something else that I found in the Universal Resorts that is probably very helpful is these touch screens here. So you can go to a resort map and you can find out where you need to go from there. And it also tells you, oh, there it goes. Oh no, there was a stack overflow on line 42. Ding dang. And tells you all the stuff that you need to know about Universal Orlando. And this is just the Universal Orlando website. So pretty neat. Oh, and you can check your flights here too. That's really neat. You can check all of the departing flights and see if they're on time or what's happening with your flight. Another thing that's right across the way from the Universal Studios store is the new Dutch Trading Company where you can get grab-and-go sandwiches, hot pots and salads and snacks. Here's something that some of the Universal Resorts have is a souvenir mug. This is a Sapphire Falls one with a happy octopus on it. Here's a quick look at the menus for the new Dutch Trading Company. You can get ice cream and soft serve and shakes and soups and sandwiches. Sweets like cakes and apparently donuts and bagels. And then they also have coffee and lattes. They have a wide selection of grab-and-go snacks. You can even buy their coffee here. Candies, a s'mores kit, oh, potato chips, Pringles, which are also potato chips, Chex Mix, cookies. They got some energy drinks and cold water. Looks like you can get some wines over here. And they've got grab-and-go sandwiches in case you don't want to wait in line. They look pretty good. They have a vegan salad here. Milks and juices. There's a Coke freestyle machine here. And then down here, they've got some ice-cold beers and wines and wine coolers. I like that they have an Einstock Icelandic Gale. That's pretty neat. Kind of hard to see, but you can buy a little 375 milliliter bottles of liquor and you can see the prices of them right here from the new dutch trading company if we head in this direction there are some bathrooms right off the lobby too and then we head towards the convention center to the right or some guest rooms to the left there's actually a convention going on right now over here in one of the convention halls oh there's like a, a boardroom right there this is the barbados boardroom Looks like it's all set up for somebody to have a boardroom meeting. So before we get to the convention center area, I wanted to point out that the business center is also down here. There's somebody in there doing business, so I'm not gonna go inside and interrupt them. This is the convention center side, and there is a convention going on down there, so I'm not gonna go any further, but I am going to turn around in this direction and head over here. That leads to outside, which the parking area is just to the left here. When we started the video, it's just kind of off to the right over there. So if we went out those doors, we could go back to the lobby that way. But we're going to go to these elevators over here and go down to the first floor. So here we are on the first floor. And the whole reason that we came out here is I wanted to show you this area right outside. Here. The lobby is kind of back over there. And you see these windows right here. This is the hall that we walked down to get to. The business center was right around here. We got in an elevator and we came down to the first floor. And over there is all of the convention center. And we are outside now. And I wanted to point out these little fire pit tables, which sound like a really fun time on a cold night. But I also wanted to point out the Cayman Court Pavilion. So out here in Cayman Court on Friday nights at six o'clock, they have what is called the Caribbean Carnival. 
which is an all-you-can-eat buffet that also has a dinner show and songs and dance that are native to the islands of the Caribbean. Also in Cayman Court on Saturday mornings, they have the Despicable Me character breakfast. And we actually participated in the character breakfast one Saturday a little while ago. And what we'll do is we'll put a link to that video up here in the corner and we'll also put that down in the description down below so you guys can check out what the Despicable Me character breakfast is like. Another thing here at Cayman Court is this little outdoor seating area with cafe tables and high tops. Nice place to relax and maybe if you have a picnic or something, you can come out here and enjoy the sunshine. As with every resort tour, we have to do a little bit of backtracking, so we are gonna head back inside towards the convention center, back up to the elevator, back up and past the business center over to the main lobby again, and we'll be heading down that spiral staircase. Here we are in the main lobby, and we're headed down the spiral staircase with all of those stones lining the walls of this spiral staircase. They have all of these pictures of old distilleries that have fallen to ruin. So we're not quite going to the bottom floor just yet. We're going to the first landing here because we're gonna head out to the pool and the health and fitness center. One thing that's very nice about this resort is everything seems to be very centrally located. So we just came out of that, the spiral staircase. And as we turn around, right in this area here, we've got the Calypso game zone and exit out to the pool and the Kalina health and fitness center. Some people in there doing their exercises right now. It's a very big health and fitness center too. Let's see what they've got in the game room over here. I do like that this area seems to be a lot larger and more spread out than any of the Disney resorts that we went to. I feel like I like the space of this game room a lot better. Everybody always has these Typhoon machines. Somebody that made those did a really good job of marketing them, didn't they? Pretty cool. And this is where you get your game credits right here. And here's the prices for the arcade game cards. Whoa, a thousand credits. Holy macaroni. Just to give you guys an idea of how much a game costs, this Cruisin' Blast is six game credits, and for comparison, the basketball game here is only four credits. All right, let's head out to the pool area. We just came out of this door right here, and we're kind of bombarded with a lot of stuff here. They've got cornhole. They've got, there's a ping pong table over there. There's a pool table right here. There's another ping pong table over here. Because this is all before we even get to the pool. And then there's another pool table over there. So two ping pong tables, two pool tables. And then here we are heading out into the pool. Looking back as a way of some wayfinding, this up here is the lobby. Over here is the fitness center. This is the arcade. There's the ping pong table and the pool table. This right here is actually a waterfall, which we will show you that when we go down to where the water taxi is that takes you over to the theme parks. But as we turn, we have a look at the pool. And this is the pool for Sapphire Falls. And it looks kind of deceiving, but it does go all the way around the corner over there. Fun fact about this pool, it is actually the largest on-site pool at Universal Orlando. It is 16,000 square feet and contains 313,434 gallons of water. Sapphire Falls has private cabanas as well, and each of them has their own TV, a little portable stand-up fan, nice relaxing cushioned chairs a regular old fan up at the top these are very very nice and i think if they're the same as the ones at hard rock they've got a sound system inside of them i can't really tell though oh yeah i'm not seeing any speakers inside of this one but it is pretty cool that they have a phone and a tv inside of here this is kind of neat there's almost like two sections of the pool there's this section over here that's a little bit deeper and then it comes and it's real shallow right here and you can see there's ramps leading in from either side and then it gets deeper again over here and there's a slide that comes down. Right next to the slide is the spa or the hot tub. And there's, there's a fire pit here too. This looks really awesome. I bet on a cold night, the cool sand, the fire burning here. I can just imagine it right now. Another thing out by the pool is the drum club canteen, which is the pool bar. And I believe you can get food here as well. Oh yeah. Complimentary water as well. Let's see what kind of, see what kind of food they have on their menu. Ooh, those nachos look good. This is kind of a hard menu to read. But it looks like they have some really delicious stuff here. Oh, you know I want to try that burger. Oh, 
shredded beef taco sounds really good as well. They have a kids menu and then desserts. And then on the back of the menu, they have their drink menu. Do you guys feel like you're on vacation yet? This resort is actually very large. So these are rooms up here. Over there is the lobby and then past that's the convention center. But there's more rooms all around us right now. Also wanted to show you guys the bathrooms over here. And there's freestyle machines out by the pool as well. And lots and lots of seating. I think it's too early in the morning for me to know, but I believe because of the way that they have rolled silverware on the tables here, I believe you have a server that would come and take your order if you're sitting at these seats out here, which are just to the left of the drum club canteen. From the drum club, just looking past the pool here and the private cabanas, there's about three of them. There's a little splash pad here. The first private cabanas that we showed you were up close to the pool. I think I'd rather have one of these back here. They're a lot more secluded. This is nice. We're back over here by the lobby and we're gonna head back to the spiral staircase in a second. Just wanted to go up these stairs here because I believe there's a waterfall overlook right here. Ooh, it's beautiful here. Up at Strongwater, there is an outdoor seating area. There's no shade over it though. So if it's raining or if it's really hot outside, I wouldn't go out there. We're gonna head back to the spiral staircase. Before we head out of the pool area, I wanted to point this out, which isn't open right now, but it does look an awful lot like a walk-up bar that's available for the pool guests. And one more thing that I noticed before we leave the pool area, they do have life vests available. There's also this little stand right here that has buckets and shovels that you can rent to play in the sand, or you can get towels. They also have complimentary water here and complimentary sunscreen. I just asked, you don't rent the towels. The towels are free and available for anybody that's using this pool or staying here and using this pool. And the buckets and shovels are also available to anybody that's staying here and using the pool. Now we are heading back towards the arcade and the fitness center. We're gonna head back in these doors and head over to the spiral staircase. Heading all the way down to the first floor. I do like the decorations down here in the very bottom of the spiral staircase. And I think that these all have to do with making rum and transporting the rum. And then there's rum barrels over here too. I don't know what this large round bowl is for, or how it's used to make rum, but it's pretty interesting. So just for more wayfinding, main lobby is up there. That's where we first entered the stairs. Here is towards the pool, health club and arcade. And now we're down on the first floor and we're heading in this direction. Here's Amatista Cookhouse. Let's see what they've got on the menu. Looks like they've got a lunch menu and a dinner menu. Jerk chicken pot pie sounds delicious. Oh, they have a rotisserie chicken as well. And then for dinner, oh, Caribbean meatloaf. I do like a good meatloaf. Of course, I do love burgers as well. There's a full bar inside of this restaurant. And then over here is the buffet section. This is making me very, very hungry. Very hungry indeed. So this is just the breakfast stuff, I think. Because it is still kind of early here. It's only going on 11 right now. So this is what looks like a breakfast buffet. Little muffins and danishes and pastries and stuff like that. They have an omelet station. And you can tell them what you want in it. That was the breakfast buffet that is available here. And it is $22.99 and that includes juices and coffee. From Amatista, we are headed in this direction towards the water taxi and resort shuttle and actually the signs a little bit incorrect the resort shuttles not out back here Resort shuttles front drive. I don't know what that means. That's a very confusing sign But I believe the resort shuttles are over by the Cayman court where we said the despicable me breakfast was back outside the resort Amatista is here. They do have some outside seating strong water tavern is up above it and over here is the water taxi and this will take you over to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure and City Walk. There it is. That's the view of the waterfall that we were overlooking just a little bit ago. And you can see waterfall, Amatista's Strong Water Tavern. So let's continue around and see if we can figure out where the resort shuttles will pick you up to take you over to City Walk in this direction. This is also the direction that you would take if you wanted to walk over to City Walk, because this path right here does lead around the water and all the way over to City Walk, Islands of Adventure, and Universal Studios theme park. If you make a left here, you would head over to the theme parks. We're gonna make a right, see where it takes us. So I was a little bit confused. This is where the resort shuttles will pick you up to take you over to City Walk, which then you can walk to Islands of Adventure or Universal Studios. 
and right there is Cayman Court. So we've just gone full circle around the resort. Here is the convention center. Main lobby is kind of over in that direction. Cayman Court is here. And right around this way is where the water taxi is. There's a little sign out here that tells you where the shuttle bus takes you, how you can walk to the theme parks, or how you can take a water taxi. It tells you how often the buses run and what time they start and finish. Here comes a water taxi right now. Ready to pick people up and take them over to the theme parks. So there you have it. That was our trip to Low Sapphire Falls Resort. A lot of interesting stuff here. I really like that this is the largest pool on Universal property. That's amazing to me, and that is a lot of water. Also, the food looks really good here. And if you're a fan of rum, I highly recommend you check out Strong Water Tavern. But with that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.